Hey everyone, it's me Oli from Retaliate and today I'm going to be doing another glitch completion for you guys. Now this is really difficult because I'm doing another 10 more glitches and there's not that many glitches out at the moment. But all of these I haven't put in a completion yet, so I hope you guys do enjoy this video. There's also a few brand new glitches which I found, so I'm going to be showing you guys them and there's one that's really overpowered, so that'll be the first glitch I'll show you guys. Also, as you can see, I've got the Iconic skin now. Now, huge shout out to the people that got me this. They have a Discord server and they actually sell these Iconic skins. So if you want to get it on your account, they actually put on your account for you. So if you do want to get one for yourself, they are really cheap. And it only takes a few hours for them to do. So huge shout out to them. I'll leave the Discord link in the description. So make sure you do join it if you want to get one for yourself. And before we get into the video, I'd like to thank all the new subscribers. We've gone up so much over the last few days. So huge shout out to everyone that's just subscribed. There's going to be a lot of glitches like this coming in the future. So if you are new here, make sure you do subscribe. You don't want to miss out. And our next goal now is 50k. So we just hit 40k the other day and we're already on 42, which is insane. So I think we can easily hit 50k. So if you are new here and you do enjoy this video, make sure you do check out my other ones. And if you like those ones as well, then consider subscribing. Anyway, if you do want to support me through my supporter creator code, just go to the item shop, press into supporter creator, type in retaliate and press into accept. And thanks to everyone that uses that when they're buying a skin in game. Anyway, I don't want to drag on this video, so let's get straight into the glitch compilation. So this first glitch works in public games and is found by me, and you're going to understand why this is so insane in a minute. But basically, it allows you to use weapons inside of ballers, cannons, and planes. So obviously, you can't get planes in normal games, but you can do it in the baller, and it probably works best of that. So basically, all you want to do is you want to get any type of build, so it can be a cone or anything. I'm just going to use a wall, and you just want to put it down next to the baller and basically all you want to do is you want to select the weapon that you want to use inside of the baller so say for example i want to use this all you want to do is be holding it and then you want to edit the wall so you're going to edit it like this and before you press into g to confirm it or whatever button is you want to go next to your baller and basically what we're going to do is we're going to confirm the build as well as entering the baller so we're going to press into g and e at the same time and i'm pretty sure this does work on console so you'll just have to press into the button that confirms it and enter at the same time so here we go we're going to do it now and as you can see it lagged a bit but it actually works so you can see that we actually have this inside of the baller and you can actually shoot it so as you can see it does shoot it's really weird i don't even know what direction it goes but it does actually shoot and you can't actually reload which is kind of annoying so something else you can do with this you can actually duplicate weapons so this works in public games remember there's not really any point and you're going to know in a minute why there's no point but you can see i've just dropped this now and if i exit we still have it in our hand so we've actually duplicated the item but we can't actually shoot it so epic games are quite smart and they thought of a way around this so unfortunately it counts as we have no ammo so it doesn't work i tried to find a workaround for this but there's no workaround so you can't actually use a weapon but you can actually duplicate it anyway i'm going to show you again in case you didn't get it but basically you're just going to build a wall you're going to get the weapon that you want so i'm going to do with a minigun this time and then we're going to edit it so we're going to enter and confirm the edit and here we go now we've got the minigun <laughs> and look how stupid this looks and as you can see you can actually shoot it's really weird how it works and it changes our camera as well so i'm pretty sure i can do this for as long as i want because there's no like reload so if you do manage to get a minigun in the normal game you can literally do this for as long as you want which is kind of insane and this does also work in the cannon so if you do the same glitch but in the front of the cannon it does work so you can do that if you want anyway that's kind of insane and it's really glitchy so i'm gonna move on to the next glitch so this next glitch was found by LDHG. a huge shout out to him but basically it allows you to make floating builds now there is a way to do this at the moment bound by scarlet but that way is kind of difficult and this way is so easy and it works in public games and sometimes you can actually expand on the build once you've got the floating platform so that's kind of insane it doesn't work every time but the floating builds works almost every time so i'm going to show you how to do it so all you need to do is you want to build a few ramps so build up to the height that you want so i'm just going to do it around here and basically all you're going to do is you want to build one more ramp and then you want to get a wall and you're going to build around like this so you want to build underneath the ramp and around and everything and then you want to go here and you want to do the same thing with the walls so basically all you're going to do now is build a little platform so let's just build a little platform here and once you've built the platform, we're going to go back down and we're going to knock out this one here. So we're going to knock out the first one. Then we're going to wait around the second and build another ramp. So here we go. So I think it's worked this time. Let's check. And as you can see, if it looks like this and it's empty, then it's actually worked. So all you need to do now is you can try and build. So I'm just going to build like this. And all I'm going to do is shoot this down and prove that it actually does float. So here we go, it's collapsing and we're still in the sky, so we're just floating now. And sometimes you can actually build, it doesn't work every single time, so for some reason it's not working. Also, if you edit, it's going to get messed up, so I wouldn't recommend editing. But if someone does destroy one of your builds, you're going to see the entire thing will collapse. So just be careful about that, but that is really helpful. So a huge shout out to LDOHD for that, and let's move straight into the next one. So this next glitch isn't anything insane, but it's still kind of useful, I guess. It can be useful in certain situations. But basically, if you see any doors like this in normal games, there's a way to phase through it. I'm going to show you how to do it, you need a baller, but basically you're going open the door get inside the baller and go inside of it and once you're inside you're going to close the door and then if you park the ball in this location here it's really weird it's not that helpful but i'm going to show you that you might be able to use it for something if you then open the door this way so you open it like this 
and you get inside of the baller. Obviously, you can see this is a solid wall. You can actually face through the wall, so here we go. And we just face straight through the wall. So obviously, it's nothing insane. But I thought you guys might find it a bit useful for something. And let's move straight into the next one. So this next glitch was found a while ago by one of my friends. And basically, it allows you to get unlimited ice wheels. So you can actually have ice on your wheels forever. And there were ways of doing this in public games. I think they do still work. But if you want to do this in creative and you don't want to go all the way to the main island, then all you want to get is one of these chiller grenades. You're going to pick it up. And all you're going to do is go on the back of one of these, a quad crusher, and you're going to throw it down. So I'm going to throw it down now. And here we go, and you're going to swap seats once your wheels ice, and you're going to see that once it wears off, we should still have it. So this has been out for ages, but no one actually knows about it, so we never release this. I think it is just a visual glitch, but it's still kind of cool. So the second you get off your vehicle, it will go. So this was found by Retaliation, and let's get straight into the next one. So this is a glitch I found a while ago, and huge shout out to Grizzine for helping me record this, and you do need your friend for this. And basically, you're just going to go in creative, and you want to grapple onto your friend, and as you can see there, once he returns to hub, it literally launches you into the sky. So you go flying, and I think it does work in playground as well so you can do it in there and basically you just grapple onto him and he's just going to return to the hub and it launches you so me and physio ninja found this a long time ago and i'm going to show you guys how to do it again so you just grapple onto them and they return to the hub and sometimes if you exit at the right time you can actually bypass a sky barrier so it doesn't work every time but you can see here i jumped out and if you get the timing right you can actually bypass a sky barrier so it didn't work this time i don't think but if you try it enough times you may actually hit it anyway this glitch does still work and let's get straight into the next one so this is another glitch found by LDHG. a huge shout out to him he keeps on finding a lot of glitches recently but basically you want to go inside of your inventory and this allows you to get the infinity blade effect on any weapon so you can have it on a rocket launcher for example so you just want to get an infinity blade but as you can see we've got it now and all we're going to do is we're going to go inside of our inventory again get the gun that we want to do so i'm going to do it with this for example so i'm just going to pick it up and once you've done this you're going to see that it's actually inside of your inventory now obviously this isn't supposed to happen it's just a bit buggy and all you want to do now is get something from the devices so i don't think it matters it has to be a trap though but i'm just going to get a campfire it doesn't really matter i don't think and we're going to go to the play inventory here. We're going to double click onto this. And now you can see that that's selected. Now you're not supposed to be able to do this, obviously. It's kind of glitchy. And all you want to do now is you want to swap these around. So you're going to see, we can actually swap these around. And now if we go inside of a vehicle, so I'm not sure if it matters what vehicle, I'm just going to do this. And we swap seats and we exit. You're going to see that we actually have the effect of the infinity blade on this. So I'm not sure if it's easy to tell. But if you pick up one of these gravity stones, which you can get inside of the consumables gallery, all you want to do is you want to eat it. And you're going to see now we should be able to do the infinity blade thing. So here we go. When we jump around, it actually does the infinity blade thing. It's kind of weird and buggy. But you can see if you jump and then press onto it, it actually does it. And you can literally do this and shoot at the same time and stuff. So it's kind of funny. You can also do it with consumables as well. So if you want to mess around and try and find something with this glitch, you might be able to find something quite cool. But that's it for this glitch. And let's move straight into the next one. So this next glitch allows you to get underneath the map. And it's right next to Paradise Palms. It's not that useful, but it's still kind of cool. And it's found by Jugger. So huge shout out to Jugger. If you don't know about his channel yet, make sure to check it out. But basically, all you want to do is you want to head to this location here. I can't actually show you on the map because it's broken. But you want to head to this location here and you're going to see there's a zip line. So before we do the glitch, we're going to play ourselves. So we're going to build some ramps and we're just going to swap them around like this. So we're going to rotate them and we're going to try and build them underneath the map. So here we go. I'm pretty sure that's building underneath the map. And we're also going to try and build some floors underneath the map. So it's kind of difficult to do. And as you can see, they're building above me. So it's kind of annoying. But you may be able to build a few and you don't need that many anyway. But basically, all we're going to do is we're going to get a rift to go and we're going to enter the zip line and use that at the same time. So here we go. So I think it worked that time and here we go, we're actually underneath the map. Now it didn't work because I didn't build the platform big enough. So I'm going to try and build the platform a little bit bigger. So hopefully it works a bit better this time. So we're going to try again. So we're going to use a rift and enter the zip line a second before we actually go in the sky. And here we go, we actually landed on one of the platforms this time. And there's nothing you can really do once you're under here. You can't actually use your weapons anymore. But if you have tons of traps, you can actually use them. So here we go, we're actually using the traps to build. And that's the only way you can build underneath the map. So obviously Epic Games aren't that smart because they forgot to patch this and you can actually build underneath the map. But obviously Obviously you're not gonna have that many traps so if you do want to do this you can it's kind of pointless but it's still kind of cool to do and it does work in public games like i said anyway let's get straight into the next one so there's a way in season 8 to actually get to the spawn island and you could explore it and everything and it was in creative and it's kind of cool to do but basically there's a new way of doing it in season 9 and i've not seen anyone post about this it's kind of common sense but a lot of you guys may have not actually thought about this so basically if you do the glitch you get your phone in any island and you go to the main island you're going to know that you can actually use the phase mode. So if you use the phase mode, you can literally go straight through this wall. So you're going to see here, there's a solid wall here and you can't do anything about it unless you press into phase. So once you do this, you can fly through and once you've flown through, you can literally just press into N and you can explore this place. So it's kind of cool. You can build on stuff. You can go on with your friends and mess about and you can also use phase again to explore underneath the map. So obviously there's not much, but if you do want to explore, you can and you can go inside of all these buildings and stuff. It's kind of cool and you can stay in here for as long as you want. Anyway, I just thought you guys might like this. Obviously, it's just common sense, but I thought I'd just put 
wasn't a glitch compilation anyway for you guys. Anyway, let's move straight into the next one. So some of you guys might know about this glitch, but if you don't, I'm going to show you anyway. So there's a little wall breach here, and I'm not sure if you would call it a wall breach, but it's like a little hiding spot. So you can actually get underneath this lava here. You can't get that far underneath, but if you do have one of the lava skins, you do actually blend in really well. If you want to use this in public games, you can. And basically, if you go to this location here, it's right at the bottom. All you want to do is you want to crouch, and you want to go into this little corner here. So you're going to see that we're actually going to fall underneath the lava. So here we go. And we're kind of hidden. You can actually use like a gun or something and hide. And if you go really close up to the rock and you have like a skin that looks a bit like a rock, you can actually hide really well. So you can actually look underneath the lava and stuff. It's kind of cool, but it's obviously nothing amazing. So this is a wall breach, but it's kind of pointless. And I'm going to show you guys the last glitch. This final glitch allows you to use emotes on zip lines. So if you're going on a really long zip line, you can actually use emotes. And I'm pretty sure it only works in creative because you need balloons for this. So I'm pretty sure you can do it in playground as well. But basically, all you want to do is you want to use some balloons. And all we're going to do is emote and we're going to go right next to the side so we're going to emote now and you're going to see when we fall down we're actually still using our emote and if we press into this you can see we're actually using our emote whilst we're on this so you can move around and you can literally stay on here forever and you can just be dancing and if you have one of those emotes that spin you around and stuff it might actually be useful so if you get one of the backflip ones you could actually do this and dodge bullets so it might be kind of fun to mess around with your friends and obviously this is another pointless glitch but it's still kind of cool to do so this is found by jugger i think so a huge shout out to him and that was the last glitch so that is it for this glitch completion i hope you guys did enjoy all of these hopefully in a few weeks epic games will add some new stuff so we can exploit it and i'm going to be doing a lot more glitch completions because you guys really do enjoy them i might not be able to do 10 glitches every single time so i might only be able to do like six or seven or something but i will try to upload as much as i can i do try to upload almost every single day so if you are new here make sure you do subscribe thanks to all the new subscribers again and if you have only just subscribed over the last few days make sure to turn on your post notifications so you're the first to see my videos anyway thanks for all the amazing support our next goal now is 50,000 subscribers so hopefully you can hit that in the next few months and if you are new here and you've not seen my videos before make sure you do check out my last glitch compilation i uploaded it a few days ago and they are all completely separate glitches and that's it really so thanks for all the amazing support on the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one Goodbye.